I met a gypsy. That dude's an animal. That dude's an animal. I, I'll tell you what, Redbud, when pe people have their opinion, I say I got the whole shot because I did cross the white line first, but I don't know where the transponder line was. But I'll tell you what, me being behind Barsha, like that first lap, sending it. And I'm like, mad respect. Mad respect because he does stuff on a bike that nobody else can do. And so does like, you know, so does like Frandis and Roxon. Like they all have their specialty. Yeah. But Barsha has that hangout style. And I'm just like, dude, that is badass. Like I would love to do that. <laughs> like, no, Barsha's just a badass. That's hands down. So, all right. I would love for you to try and expand on that. I mean, you probably, it's probably like hard to expand on it exactly. But when you say that, like, all right, you're behind Barsha for the first lap of Red Bud and you're watching what he's doing. What are you seeing? Oh, dude. It, it, it's uh, a rooster tail everywhere. It's not even straight. It's just bam, bam, like just right, left, kind of straight, bike sideways, rev limiter, clutch. Like it's, that's how he has fun. That That's him. And then you get behind somebody like uh, Roxon, you barely ever hear his motorcycle. It's crazy. And then you got Tomac where he's just, he will drop a gear down, dump the clutch, and he's just wide open. And it's uh, it's wild. Yeah, being by Barsha, me personally, I'm like, I want, I want no parts of it. Like <laughs> you do you, I'm gonna do me, and <laughs> we'll just move on. <laughs> it must be. Uh, th does it help your riding though, or like, does it help your racing? Like, as a guy that is you're working your way up to that position like you said you're a fucking 25th place guy for most well like for most of your career to this point so it's like you're not even yeah. really getting to see those motherfuckers <laughs> like, like you're only seeing them when they lap you but now you're actually getting to like be behind guys from for laps and actually getting to learn from those guys does that shit make a difference it, it does it really does because when you think you hit something fast they hit it faster and it's like mm. oh like that that's that's possible and then you do it and you're like what have I, what have i been doing all these years <laughs> and, and what about like lines and stuff like that uh their line choice i i'm not gonna say that i'm i'm great at line choice but i i feel like i have a general idea and we tend to kind of all have uh, the same line choice um, it's, it's kind of just what you do over the breaking bumps some just throw it in and the bike does the work or some people like uh, Roxen or Muscan they finesse they'll they'll hit this breaking bump and they'll shoot across and then land in another one and then keep shooting across and that that's what works for them um, but yeah, sometimes line choice can get wild because if we all want to hit the same line, it's only good for like three or four riders, and then the rest of the field's like, ah, oh, I don't know where to go. Um, yeah. But no, it is it is crazy because there was uh, Washugal. I was behind AP on the first lap of the first moto, and I don't think the camera caught this, but he hit the outside berm, and I was like, you know what? AP's going there, I'm going there. And he hit the berm, and we both sunk in but his bike started climbing over the wall and him and the bike got separated and I started to get separated and I I stopped like almost in the turn so I didn't fall because I saw what happened to AP. Um, so it is, it is crazy to see like our line choices because one, you might think it's good because they go there, but it's, it's not always good. Um, I will say being like, around Roxon, it and it's not even laps like it's just a few turns with him he is so patient with mm. his turns like watching him like he might look like he like you know like throws it in there but everything he does has a purpose and you never hear his motorcycle it's always in the meat of the power and it, it's crazy with how he does things because it's it's just 
it's one motion. It's just in, out, and gone. Where like other people, they'll slam, slam, fix it, and then go. Um, yeah, no, it's uh, the Euro, the Euro riders. Definitely, uh, those are those are the people that I kind of like. I'm not gonna say mm. look up to, but I pay attention because I'm like, there's there's a there's a reason why they're doing that. Um, and that's what's cool with like pro motocross is we have all types of countries line up on the gate and you can pick on who you want to pay attention to. Um, so yeah, line, line choices, it's, uh, it, it's hard because you gotta, you gotta pick out what works for you, but you gotta mm. pick out why, like you can't just throw it in there, just throw it in there. You gotta know why. So are you, when you're watching guys like Kenny and Marv and, and Dylan, are you trying to, when you like go back, say you, you know, you're around Kenny for a few turns and you really get to like kind of watch some shit that Kenny's doing. Um, are you then trying to like go back through the week and implement some of that stuff that he's doing or? Yeah, no, it's, uh, so being here in California, like I see, I used to see Ferrandas a lot. But now that star has gone to Florida. Um, so when Kenny was out here just doing like suspension testing, uh, I would watch them and they all kind of take similar lines, but it's just how they do it. Like with Marv, like he'll put his foot out, but with Kenny, he'll keep his feet on the pegs. And then with Marv, like he'll clutch it in one spot. And then Kenny, he just lugs the motor. But yet their lap times are so identical. And it's like, well, what's better? And it's just with Moto, everybody's style's different. So mm. he kind of just got to like nitpick and try to make what worked for you. Um, no, it, it is, it, it's hard. That's what's so crazy about the sport is there's no like right way, but there's definitely like a wrong way. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so true. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. And to listen to the full three-hour podcast, search Gypsy Tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below. Gypsy Gang.